Odysseus launching on a SpaceX rocket exactly a week ago. Ignition and liftoff. Go SpaceX, go IM-1 and the Odysseus lunar lander. Named after Homer's hero, the spaceship is due to land on the moon at 2249 GMT. It's a feat that only five countries have managed before and no private business yet. The lunar lander was built by Texas-based Intuitive Machines, which was paid $118 million by NASA to get its latest set of experiments to the moon. If all goes to plan, the golf cart-sized Odysseus will touch down on the lunar South Pole, a region full of treacherous craters and cliffs, but also potentially rich with frozen water. NASA plans to land astronauts there later this decade and build a long-term presence after a more than 50-year absence. A previous lunar expedition by another U.S. company last month ended in failure, raising the stakes to demonstrate American private industry has what it takes. The U.S. is still the only country to have put people on the moon's surface between 1969 and 1972. And after the Soviet Union, the U.S., China and India, Japan became the latest country to achieve a soft, if upside-down, lunar landing last month.